Hey, CMAX here. We're going to do a review on the RCBS Universal Hand Priming Tool. When I first started reloading, the priming procedure for the press uh, had the tube where you had to punch each one in and then flip it up, log it. I didn't really like that. I thought there had to be a better way to do it. So I started looking around and the hand priming tool systems um, seemed to make more sense to me. Plus, gave me a chance to get away from the press so that I'm not at the press so much. I can take this, sit down in front of the television and, you know, prime 100 cases pretty quick. Um, let me start off by, got the safety glasses here to remind everyone, the primer is the most dangerous part of the reloading process. There it can want to explode and cause your problems. So whenever you're dealing with prime primers or primed brass, you have to take that extra level of safety. Um, now RCBS has two types of hand priming tools. Now there are other manufacturers that make them. I know Lee makes one, um, but I decided to go with RCBS. I like the company. They've got stellar um, customer service. Uh, this is the one I cho uh, chose to go with. Uh, they're not cheap though. Uh, I believe right now there is a rebate. I think $10 if you spend 50, that kind of thing. So take advantage of that if you're interested. Now RCBS has the universal and they have the standard one. Now the universal, you can spot real easy because it has the square tray and where the shell goes in, it has two like jaws that hold the brass. So what you do is you just take brass in there, lock it down, there it is. Now the, the other tool they have, the standard one, has a round tray and you have to load in the uh, shell holder like you would use on the press for that specific caliber. But they both you know, work fine. I just decided to go with the universal. Now the tray itself, it's a top and a bottom. The bottom part has all the ridges like any kind of primer tray that'll get them to flip to the heavy side down. So that's the anvil side facing up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got some uh, large pistol primers here. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that. So you just flip it over release those, get that out of the way. And what I typically like to do, the RCBS has this little slide block, I guess you would, or gate, if you will. Uh -oh. All right, had to cut away. I uh, had a, one of my lighting bulbs decided to burn out. Well, anyway, back to what we were doing. Uh, just put the uh, large pistol primers in the tray. Uh, the top to it has this little slide gate. What that does is that blocks off the port here where they slide into the uh, the hand primer tool itself. So basically which one, what I do is I put the the lid down on it. Now you can shake it first and get them all turned up but when you put the lid on because of the way it clamps in here it tends to cause a couple of them to pop over. So I'll see so what I'll do is I'll put them down and I'll leave the, the top of it up just a hair, just so there's enough room for them to uh, flip over. And you start doing the, the primer tray routine. All right. Well, we've got them. I speeded it up. It took me a minute. These large primers, a little bit harder to flip than the small ones. Uh, and 45, you know, they do have the cases now that take the small pistol primers. So one additional thing you've got when doing 45 cases is, is it a large primer hole or a smaller one? I kind of wish they were all small. That way, all you have to deal with is just small pistol primers. I guess originally they felt they needed a larger one to give enough flash because of the larger case. But anyhow, we've got them all turned over. What I like to do is I like to use binder clips to secure the top down. It'll stay down as this just makes me feel better. Uh, if the top does get loose, all you gotta do is call RCBS. They'll send you another one out. <clears throat> uh, as most of you know, they have uh, stellar customer service. I do this because it makes me feel better. All right, well, you take it and right now I've got it set up the large pistol primer takes the black whoops if you can see here but there's an l on it for large pistol primer and you slide it in 
Now, when you get ready, lift the gate back, wiggle a little bit, and you'll see one primer right there. You can see it as it comes up here as I squeeze it, ready to load. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the way. I've got my eyeballs on, so I've got my protection. And basically all you do, keep it at an angle so that they'll feed into the mouth here, then one after another, squeeze. And what I like to do is when I'm pulling it out, I just rub my finger over it because you can feel anything that might be a high seated uh, primer. Feels good, it goes right in the tube. So you just keep, keep going. And it's as simple as that. And you get a real feel for it. Now, if something, like always, if it doesn't feel right, if it stops, if it's hard to do, stop, look, see what's going on. Uh, you may get a primer that's sideways. And what will happen over time is the plastic guide here will warp, uh, just gets worn, and it'll cause them to flip. So if you ever get a primer that turns on its side, um, it's going to feel harder to press in there, so that's the first clue. Second one is uh, it's probably wore out the size of the hole there. Just call RCBS and boom, they'll have them into the mail to you in no time. But it's, okay, see right here, something's wrong. So I'm going to pull it out and look and see what's going on. I don't see any reason. Um, you know, it doesn't like that case, so we're not going to make it. Okay, see that one's easy. You never know. This may be a crimp case. I don't see any. Uh, I have found that the S and B cases. Uh, I had a bunch of the primers when I was knocking them out. That the the top plate of the primer came out, but the side stayed in on like eight or nine of them. So I don't know if these S and Bs are substandard or the primers they use are substandard or what. But I've had a lot of problems with those cases. Just keep going, and it's very easy. So you can kind of see, you can knock out a hundred of them really in no time at all, and you don't even have to look at it too much. You can look up, see, watch the television, what have you. I'm going to do a few more, then I'm going to show you how to swap out to the small pistol primer. That's all there is to it. As you can see, it works really well. It's fast, it's easy. You know, and when you're doing single stage, press and you're trying to do you know a fair number of them and it gets kind of old being at the press all the time so this gives you a little bit of a break from the press you know it gives you a chance to get in a different place sit down uh, feel better just shake it every once in a while make sure they feed in there and you just keep going all right so you want to stop in mid flow we'll just tilt it back and you can see now there's not one in there they've all fallen back just slide the tray forward pull it right out and you're good. So let me move this out of the way. What we're going to do is say, okay, now I want to go to do small pistol primers. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch from the large pistol primer setup to the small. So what you do is you just squeeze it just slightly, take a little tension off the bar there, and you unscrew this right here. That releases this bar goes and it just slides straight out now you can remember that she's angled when it goes back in it's angled like that and this plate is on the non lever side it only go one way so it's not that difficult but you take that out the large pistol primer insert will come out and the only thing that we need to do is replace the ram. Now it comes with a large ram and a small pistol primer ram. This is actually the little in, uh, tool that you screw it in and out with. It's threaded so it can hold whichever ram that you're not using. This one right here is for the small pistol primer, so we'll unscrew that. Set it here. Now that's the ram and that's the large pistol primer. Its diameter is the size that it will not fit through the hole here, because as you can see, difference in the diameter of the holes. So you just take this tool, insert it in, it's like a socket in there, and you just unscrew it. 
comes out that's it take the new ram and it's it's two sized socket in there this one will fit down in there a little bit deeper but that's where the um, the socket for the small pistol primer is located put it in there just screw it on in until it stops just do it snug you don't have to overdo it boom there it is right there as you can see works great so then you just insert the small pistol primer and just keep in mind the bar has to slide through that that slot so slot it in like that and remember that the bar is curved so you push her in just like that I usually put my finger on there and hold it to keep it from sliding back and forth and put her in line it up there fairly easy to do then tighten it down there you go now if I had small pistol primers in the tray it would be ready to go boom 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 and you're off and running uh, when you take the whatever ram you're not using make sure you screw it back into the tool because these little parts are easy to lose we don't want to do that um, I mean our CBS will get you another one but you have to wait on it to show up and usually you don't want to stop in the middle of reloading process to do that all right well that's going to wrap it up for the universal hand priming tool appreciate you watching don't forget all the safety wear your eyes and ears keep your finger off the trigger till you're ready to fire weapons are always loaded when you pick it up always check the action don't trust anyone whether it's loaded or not every gun is always loaded be safe have fun thanks for watching please subscribe and like have a great day